what's going on NDM crew we're very excited for this video we're gonna be unveiling a new car well new to us car 98 Volvo V70 codenamed the unit Alright guys, this is a 1998 Volvo V70 wagon, 5 cylinder, non-turbo. Um, the reason why I bought this car, I've been having a lot of issues with damages happening to my STI. So I said, let's park the STI, drive it on nice days and get myself a cheap beater that if anything happened to it, I literally don't care. So um we're thinking him and han about cars under a thousand making that like a little bracket in our channel like you know picking up cars for cheap what you can get for that price uh so this car we actually picked up for 300 dollars um that's obviously without licensing and your safety fees and all that just 300 bucks just for the car um ran drove no problems the only thing we discovered later on is that it stalls randomly so in an attempt to fix that we replaced the pcv system New video coming up soon regarding that, and there's a couple other things we're gonna to do to try and fix that issue as well. Um, so we'll go over the good and the bad, get some good shots of the car. Um, the car rides really good, amazing. A um, little bit of rust on it, on the body. This spot right here, that's the only rust on this side of the car. Underneath, it's amazing. There's no rust. Um, yeah, like the interior is probably the roughest part of the car. Like it's not really bad, but you know, it's, you know, it's a 98. So if Nick brings the camera over here, I can show you probably one of the worst parts. Like the seat cover is falling apart on the driver's seat. Um, and then the top of the steering wheel has, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's wear or if it's like I don't know, to me it's like dried up gum. I don't know what that is, but that's probably the worst part about the interior. Um, yeah, but I love the wagon. I love the fact that I got tons of space. The seats go down. Seats do the nice fun pull up or whatever. I don't know what that really does, but it kind of helps, I guess. And then obviously your standard folding situation but yeah so that's pretty much the interior this side of the car's got a good little gouge in it but you know that's fine whatever right one thing I'll go over mechanically when I got the car put it up on the hoist new flex lines in the front new rotors in the front new calipers in the front new pads in the front like brakes in the front completely brand new new pads in the back the rear rotors are a little iffy, but you know what? Who cares, right? It's just a beater. We want to fix the stalling issue first. So, we'll fire it up, take it for a spin. We'll try and get the stalling thing to happen on camera, which would be great. And also, one thing I should mention, with the stalling thing, it also sometimes doesn't start easily. It requires a lot of cranking to start, so it's... No, no problem that time. So she started good. Like I said, it gets really good fuel economy too. I think I get about 550 kilometers to a tank. The tank cost me about um, 55, 60 bucks to fill. That's Canadian. Uh, but yeah, let's take her for a rip. We'll try and get the stalling to happen. Let's do it. The stalling usually only happens when the car's been sitting, so like at a light for more than 15 or 20 seconds. Is it hot or cold? It doesn't matter. 
but usually I find it's more on the hot, like on the way home from work. So let's redline it a few times oh, and yeah. then see what happens. Yeah, we'll do a couple burnouts. Perfect, let's do it. Cool. All right guys, one thing I forgot to mention that is a huge plus for this car, the AC blows cold. <laughs> like, what more can you ask for? Runs, drives, AC blows cold. Hey, it stalls every once in a while. Who cares, For right? $300 Canadian, $300. you know what? $300. Can't go wrong with that. No, you can't. Uh, and the stereo is pretty booming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's it. So we're gonna try and get the stalling to happen. Um, it tends to only happen when it's been sitting for a little while. So maybe we'll drive it, park and sit for a little bit and see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see and it what rides. happens. Rides really smooth. Oh, I'm on my dad at home. Oh no. Oh, they're gonna see the unit. Let's see what they say. My parents haven't seen it. What is it? That's my car! <laughs> right. My dad said he wants one too. So Nick, put the camera over here. I want to show them something. It's got a winter mode, which I'm assuming like probably starts you in like... Oh, wow. Starts you in eighth gear that probably it doesn't have. starts you in like third. Uh, eco mode, and then sport mode. Which is sport mode every day. Sport mode every day. So we'll leave it in sport mode. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just no power whatsoever. It's the five cylinder. Right. Tons of power. Alright, so yeah, we'll get it to stall. <sighs> Pulls a little bit. But it rides pretty smooth, and like I said, you get the odd chirp in the interior. It's a Volvo. It builds character. If it didn't chirp, it wouldn't be a Volvo. But yeah. Like, the ride is really comfortable, smooth. These headrests are amazing. Like, I could fall asleep on these headrests. Like, well, I don't, but I could. <laughs> yeah, we don't recommend sleeping while driving at the same time. It's not really the best combination. There we go, nice. But yeah, as you can see, the ride quality is pretty good. I'll roll up the windows so I don't get too much. Really yeah, nice, but like, jeez. Listen to how amateur hour here. Listen to how quiet it is inside this car. Except for when you get the mics that are chirping in the back. Yeah, that's fine. It's a three hundred dollar car. Oh, I know. That's what you want. You would expect nothing less. So we're gonna simulate going to a stoplight and waiting for the light to turn green. That is the most typical time when it does stall, and as well, it tends to happen at the worst time. Like when I'm the first person to go, there's tons of people behind me and the light just turns green. It's rush hour, there's cops everywhere, <laughs> yeah. you're about to die, something. Boom. It stalls. And it does start again, but you gotta crank it for a while uh, and give it a little bit of throttle and then she fires up. Like not like 20 seconds of cranking, it's probably like, if a normal cranking is, you know, five seconds to start it, it's gonna take 10, double the time I'd say. So here we go. We're gonna pull up to this fake stop sign here. And we're gonna leave the car and drive. And we'll just wait and see what happens. Sometimes it doesn't stall, sometimes it does, so we'll just see what happens. I've never experienced this, so. It's pretty consistent, but maybe the car has to know that we're at a stoplight. Maybe the car has to see the stoplight. Has it done it with other people in the car? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, because I was going to say, maybe it's just a you thing. Like, it only does it with you. It's pissed off at The it? unit only does it with you. Right. Right, so while we're waiting for that to happen, I uh, wonder if there's anything else we can go over with the car. Uh, it's got rear fog lights. Those do work. All the lights work. Uh, also, uh, I freaking can't wait. There's an interior trim piece here that's, that's um, I don't know if you can see it, but it goes on the door here. That's broken. It, it's not missing. It's in the back. I'm gonna glue it back on at some point. Just use some uh, a little bit of epoxy. Epoxy, or whatever. A crack there, but whatever. It's supposed to have stuff like that. Okay. While we're waiting too, maybe I'll mention these um, other series that we're looking at introducing. So. It's gonna be for our cars and then for your cars as well. So if you're local and stuff like that and you have a car that's a beater that you got for under a thousand dollars, we'll come and do like kind of like a review on it, not really, but it'll be funny. Uh, we'll just, we just wanna see how far your thousand dollars went. So for us, 300 bucks, we did, we did pretty good. Yeah. Like if a car's running for 300, you did a good job. If it can get safety and emission tests under, under a thousand, you know, you're laughing, right? Yeah. If a car lasts you a year, 
like you know the average car payment for most people is you know 250 300 dollars bi-weekly so yeah there you go right you're laughing so if you guys have any cars that you want us to uh come and check out that you got for under a thousand dollars let us know if you guys like the idea of the series give us some information in the comments we want to see your feedback because we've had some ideas with this for a while since it's a waste of time we don't want to do it but if yeah. you guys think it's going to be cool or funny like we're going to do funny things with these cars obviously so don't care about them yeah. just drive it through a wall hopefully we're not in the car at the same time but you know oh yeah it's a volvo it'll survive yeah these are the nice og cup holders that this car has they kind of just slide out of here um, this one's <laughs> missing its holder. I wouldn't advise putting hot coffee in this one. This one you probably could. No, I wouldn't still. Um, that does not look safe. Yeah, but whatever, you know, it's good. And it's got heated seats that do work really well in this Heated car. seats for $300, you're not going to get that anywhere else. No. And air conditioning for $300. Okay. Does it stall when you have AC on too? Yeah, it does. It doesn't matter. Okay, well this thing is not stalling. Well, I'm going to bring it up to the stop sign. Maybe it has to actually be at a stop sign. I don't know why we're hoping for it to, uh... Well, because I want to show it, the stalling. No, I know. You know, we showed all the good things. We're gonna show some of the bad, too. And actually, park, neutral, reverse drive, doesn't matter as long as you're stopped idling. Oh, you gotta wait for this jerry right now. I'll just, I'll just wait for them to go. She, can go. she didn't even look. She didn't even look. She didn't even look both what ways What is that? Wow, oh, this is interesting. Is this lady gonna look? Yeah, she looked. She looked. I'm gonna wait for her to go. Yeah. The other lady just fucking went. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's, let's go back. Maybe we are a little more driving. Because I find actually it's right off the highway too. Like when I exit off the highway, I stop, turn Maybe left. you heat soak a bunch of stuff. Maybe things are getting hot in there. I don't know. Like obviously that mangled hose that's destroyed underneath the uh, wall right that goes on the intake. You guys will see that in the next video. Um, that's getting replaced soon. I have it on order. Yeah, the hose that goes to the throttle body. Yeah, to the throttle body. It's it's just it's a write-off. We kind of tried to repair it with some electrical tape, but it's obviously not the proper. That repair. was a no-go. But uh, I am going to be getting a makeshift exhaust system welded on this car. And let us know what should we do with the exhaust system? Should we go side exit? Should we do some other stuff? Yeah, maybe we should do like through the roof. Through the roof, through, through the, the hood. Yeah, right through the hood or something. Yeah, make it come inside the cabin and then go out the roof. The roof. Doing? I'm just gonna park the car over here in the grass. On the grass. Who cares? Alright, let's put it right here in this installing location. Alright. Let's see what else is good about this thing. That's pretty much it, I guess. Got these nice lights that work. It's got lights. Yeah. Because you'd hope that it has lights. Oh! <laughs> So this thing doesn't hold very well. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, you can seat, seat five people in here comfortably. I think there was an option for a third row of seating. Oh, you could put also another ten bodies in the back if you really <laughs> wanted to. Yeah, you could. I think there was an option for that. I'm surprised how good the sound system is in this thing. For I think that one speaker is blown, but the amount of bass it produces is unreal. Oh, another issue that this car has, filling it up with fuel, you can't hold the pump handle maximum. It'll just click and stop. It'll, like, there's a restriction. What but if you that? literally hold it just below the maximum spot, it'll still fill fast. It, it's fine. So there's probably a restriction somewhere in the heat op system. I'm not too worried about it. It still, it probably takes me an extra 15, 30 seconds to fill the car up with gas. Okay, we're just gonna wait and see if we can get this to stall because this video is gonna be 85 days long. So, well, we're gonna check in. We'll check in with you guys. Hopefully, we can get this thing to stall.